The Youngstown School Board tonight heard from another board in an academically distressed city that cooperation is key to turning around a district. The Dayton area Trotwood Medicine Schools were dead last in Ohio in academics, but are now showing improvement thanks somewhat to what's happening in Youngstown. New at 11, the importance of cooperation. The Youngstown School Board, reduced to an advisory group by CEO Chris Mohip, is spending three days talking about the future of the city schools and how to proceed under House Bill 70. At this evening's meeting, the Trotwood Medicine School Board was video conferenced into the room. We have completely taken adult people and, and personalities and politics out of what it is we are trying to do. Trotwood Madison was on the verge of being taken over by HB 70, so Trotwood's board became its own academic distress commission and hired Tyrone Overson, previously Youngstown's chief academic officer under MOHIP, and gave Overson the title of superintendent slash CEO. I think a lot of the things that we're doing here are really lessons learned from Youngstown. Um, I think what's one of the advantages I had coming here is learning from Youngstown. Trotwood's board also decided to keep every stakeholder updated on a weekly basis. It went to our state support team. It went to the county superintendent. It went to everyone who was involved with our district. It was not easy. Now I'm going to tell you it was some hard decisions because we had to repurpose people. We had to move folks around. People being uncomfortable. But I think anytime you're going to change, you're going to have people be uncomfortable and that's going to be that. Before the Trotwood Medicine presentation, the Youngstown School Board also heard from its representative on the Academic Distress Commission, teacher Vince Shivers. He was not at the recent meeting where CEO Chris Mohip was given a $6,000 bonus, but said if he was, he'd have voted against it. He also opposed having academic models from other cities imposed here. And that's where I think some of the problems is that we have to have people who actually understand um, an urban school district and make decisions based on what is what is in our city. I asked Youngstown CEO Chris Mohip if he planned to attend tomorrow's final school board meeting of this retreat and he told me he's trying to fit it into his calendar but it's not looking good.